Um, I'm actually recording this a good few hours after the session. I think me and James finished up in the gym today around half four. Um, and yeah, just we, we had to run, so we I didn't get a chance to record the outro. But intro, outro, whatever. You'll see <coughs> this is day five. Uh, and basically this sec- this day is it's kind of a it used to be an optional day but now because I'm benching four days a week it's a must do day so basically I bench at the very end when I'm tired and whatever else um, so it's a majority a upper back day Um so I think I started off with some single arm rows, then double arms, um, it's crazy because the single arm row, I remember when I started doing them a few months ago, I was, you know, 20 kilos, 25 kilos, whatever, and there today I was up to 50 kilos on either side, which is insane, I was only watching a lad there a few months ago, saying, you know, Jesus, I remember specifically he had 50 kilos on it and I was saying to myself like he must be training a long time and here I am a few months later 50 kilos you know and 50 kilos like clean reps as well um <clears throat> nice nice extension and squeeze not thrown myself into them you know um it was the same then on the double arm rows it's all it's all lat work and then upper back um, I think I started off with 50 kilos on either side of that and it was too heavy so I just lowered it down to the 40 and 40 felt really good um, and then I think I had like reverse pec deck um, I think I had my phone I had reverse pec deck I think I had like 5 sets of that um, and that, that felt that felt really good to tell you the truth um, it's my first time properly down reverse pec deck like that yeah sorry I had shrugs as well um, again it's only 3 sets of 12 it's nothing mad like you know today isn't a day I go mad I'm kind of just finishing off the week and then tomorrow morning I go back in and tomorrow's like me heavy day of legs so you don't want to kill yourself the day before Um yeah so the shrugs were only 3 sets of 12 but that was what uh, I think it was, yeah it was 30 kilos plus the bar so 30, 60 yeah 30, 60, 80 kilos um, shrugs and like that I've seen people do shrugs with dumbbells and stuff um, personally I prefer the bar I'll be careful get out of there get out of there come on get out of there come on. into bed into bed um, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of prefer to use the bar because I can really get that stretch. Will you go away? Come on, over there. Over there. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Wait. Sorry, my dog's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, so you can really get that. I just find stretch when you kind of lean into it with the with the straps and stuff like that it just it's a, it feels like a good movement um, and like that you're kind of working along the trap and like the upper kind of the upper trap in behind and um, I just like how it feels really um, so they went well and the pec deck pec deck felt great really really enjoyed the pec deck um, it felt strong I think I've done all sets and reps at the same weight on that Um like that was my first time doing reverse pec deck really and there was a young fella that jumped in with us which was nice like to fit young fella I suppose and kind of a good thing for myself is you get that little ego boost when someone else jumps in with you and they have to lower the weight that's always nice um, and then it was in the Pendley rows Pendley Pendley I don't know how you say it again I think it was 4 sets of 6 on that I started off at the 25 kilo mark Um on either side and to be honest usually I do pendley rows in the beginning of the routine but in this one they're at the very end and by that point my back was fairly fucked it's fairly tired so it was a case of uh, just lowering the weight a little bit and then 
into bow bar bench press never used the bow bar before i was only talking to laura last night about this and uh, it's very much a case of the bow bar is amazing you get a fantastic stretch you get a great pump but because you're essentially at the bottom of it in a deficit position you get a real stretch in your pec um, and as a result of that you need to be careful with the weight that you're pushing simply because you're at risk of a pec tear and um, if you go too heavy too soon you're not ready for it and um, you could seriously hurt yourself tear your pec off the bone or anything like that so we don't want that and um, you'll see on one of my sets i had two 20 kilo plates on either side and i first set felt fine second set felt really confident and then i was stupid i threw two tens on either side it was too much uh took the bar off the rack done one and i was like nah that's grindy today isn't about grinding it's about keeping the body ticking over so i put the bar back took the two tens off put two fours on and then i finished out all my sets and reps on that um, and by the end it was just it was a nice pump you know um felt good be interested now talking to laura so that's essentially going to be on my plan forever bow bar as far as I, I i know there's going to be that variation in um especially next week or sorry next month um yeah just was a overall it was a good productive session um having a moment today in a good way so looking back at the videos and stuff like that i don't usually look at my videos when i'm in the gym but my little brother said to me have a look at those you know um he was like there's a serious difference in you because me and james haven't seen each other much in kind of the last couple of weeks and we haven't trained together much and uh, he was saying like jesus christ you're after putting on serious mass like in a good way not fat you know and uh <clears throat> the top i was wearing it was just it was a nice fitted top you know so you could kind of see the musculature beneath the top um the shadow the shadow on the light and helped as well but when i'm getting the stretch on kind of the lat uh the, the rows and stuff you can really see me lats engage um arms and shoulders looking big look it's i grew into powerlifting for up here you know um and a nice byproduct of that is you you get jacked. <laughs> um, I'm not the biggest person in the world. I have a bit of muscle on my body. Um, I've worked very hard for that muscle. And I'm fucking chuffed where I am right now. Um, I will add in, basically when I got home, my wife said to me, Carl, you haven't done any before and afters in a long time. And she was like, I really think you should take a picture right now um i have a couple of pictures of me kind of when i was 159 kilos where you know i took the pictures of the before you know hoping obviously to lose the weight or whatever and here i am two years later lost the weight after about 14 months you know steadily 13 14 months steadily reducing with the help of a gastric sleeve weight loss surgery um that got me to a base and then for the last year i've been training in the gym um, and it was actually august of 2023 when i contacted laura i was just heading off on holidays and i said look it's something i've always wanted to do you know how do i go about that um signed up with laura when i come back from my holidays i told her look i'll text you when i'm back um and I come back on, I think it was the Saturday, and I was in the gym or on the Monday, um, get myself a day. And that was, yeah, August 2023, and I haven't looked back. It's the best thing I ever done. Um, I'll actually put in the before and after pictures. So the before, obviously, is when I'm really, really big. There's a picture then of kind of me training by myself uh not with laura and then the final picture is today's session of me after been training with laura from 
August up until uh, what are we now March. Yeah, so August, um, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, seven months. Like you know, to come this far in seven months is it's insane. Um, so yeah, no, it was a good feeling. Very, very good feeling looking at those pictures. Um, yeah, it's why I look back there. You always look fucking huge. But yeah, listen, I've wasted enough of you at time. Um, the session's coming up next. I uh, just want to say quickly, thank you. If you've gotten this far, appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this, this is what I love doing so anybody that's coming along to kind of watch it's nice anybody that's liking subscribing leaving you know I don't get much comments I wouldn't mind some comments uh, it'd be nice um, I very much started down this powerlifting road to get me out of my own head and getting out of your own head can mean meeting new people making friends so on and so forth so if there's people out there watching videos feel free to, to leave a comment um, I'll try to get back to you um yeah like subscribe thank you thanks for watching